April 2015 and we collect food that would be wasted from supermarkets and we prepare a meal and uh, also the food that isn't cooked with we allow people to take away on a perfect case you feel basis and if there's any left at the end we then take it to a local school and they do the same they do it as pay as you feel at the end of their school day able to pay so it's this means that the cafe is open to absolutely everybody and if you can't pay some people volunteer instead or prefer to volunteer. Well, we've been picking up from various supermarkets for five years. Um, we are a bit shocked at the amount of waste, but we do feel that we are making an impact and it is getting a little bit better uh, in that we get less waste from certain supermarkets. And over the last five years, we've collected 50 tonnes of um, food that would have been wasted. So we, th we feel that that's a big achievement. Yeah, we have regular customers who come about 11, 11.15 for a cup of coffee and what we call light bites, scones, cakes, whatever we get. Uh, and people do sit and chat and generally stay to have a meal and leave about 1.30. Place for people to meet. Um, it offers a, a, a meal, it offers the opportunity to take away food, it offers the opportunity to make friendships and establish relationships. Um, taking waste food that would otherwise be thrown away and using it for a purpose, uh, providing meals, uh, letting people come and take it away, as pay as you feel. So it's just so worthwhile, it's such a good cause and um, it brings people together. It's somewhere that they can come and, and just for fellowship and a meal. Uh, it, it's just wonderful and it, it's open to everybody. That's what I like about it. It doesn't matter whether you've got money or not. Um, you know, it's open for everybody.